Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I have just today received my Sony PS5 console and I'm going to share some findings about the HDMI 2.1 bandwidth that seemed to have been capped on the PS5. So currently we are running in 4K 60Hz, which is I think the console default if you connect it up to an HDMI 2.1 display. So I'm using the LG 48-inch CX or C10 OLED currently with HDMI 2.1 support and the HDMI 2.1 chipset on the TV is 40 gigabits per second. So if we can go into the video output information from the PS5, you can see that currently it is running at a UHD resolution of 60 Hz with RGB, which is essentially a full 444 chroma. And underneath the HDR frequency here, I was slightly concerned to see that if you actually output 4K at 120 Hz, your chroma resolution will drop down to YUV. That's another name for YCBCR422. So if you haven't followed my previous video about chroma subsampling, there are essentially three levels of chroma resolution for consumer displays, 420, 422, and 444. And the higher you go, the more bandwidth it will use, but it will also give you better color information. And the thing with the Xbox Series X is that it is capable of 4K at 120 Hz at full 444 chroma at 10 bit because it has a 40 gigabits per second HDMI 2.1 chipset. So what I'm going to do now is to first of all summon the secret Easter egg free sync information bar on this LG CX or C10. So if I bash the green button a number of times and you can clearly see here that it is collaborating with the information given on screen. So it is running at UHD resolution 60 Hz and then it is running at 12 bit RGB, which is 444, and this gives us a total HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 32 gigabits per second, translated from 8 gigabits per second at four lanes. And what I'm going to do now is to try and play a game with 120 hertz support. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention is that notice that you know at 60 hertz, the PS5 is actually using the HDMI 2.1 signaling method of FRL or fixed rate link. Whereas on the Xbox Series X, if you use 60 Hz, you will be limited to the HDMI 2.0 signaling method of TMDS or transition minimized differential signaling. So from this point of view, I think you know the PS5 has the upper hand, so far so good. In terms of the UI, it is using a higher bit depth and chroma resolution. 12-bit RGB. But unlike the Xbox Series X, the PS5 does not allow you to force 120Hz signal or 4K 120Hz video output at a console level. So what I needed to do is to play a game at 120Hz. And you know, when I purchased this console, I totally didn't know this at all. So I was forced to choose from a selection of games which has 120Hz support. And I asked my kind colleague, Mr. Adam Fairclough, who is also known as Evil Boris Online, and he gave me a choice of three games. Basically, I think Dirt 5, Call of Duty, Cold War, and also Devil May Cry 5. And I checked out all the price, and Devil May Cry 5 is the cheapest. So I went for that. I mean, this YouTube gig is not as lucrative as it seems. So if I can start playing Devil May Cry 5, Pay attention to the freezing information bar and you will see that it is currently outputting at UHD resolution 120 Hz but crucially it seems to be capped at an HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 32 gigabits per second. It is still using fixed rate link which is the HDMI 2.1 signaling method but you can see here four lanes 8 gigabits per second it translates to a total HDMI 2.1 bandwidth used of 32 gigabits per second. Now here it is saying that it is 8-bit and YCBCR422, which is essentially YUV422. 
but I believe there is some error in how LG TVs, you know, display this sort of information. And for more accuracy, I actually have hooked up this TV to a Denon receiver, a 2021 with HDMI 2.1 chipset. And the model number is X2700H. Now, initially, there has been some confusion over the HDMI 2.1 compatibility of these Denon and Marans and Yamaha receivers. But I think, you know, the incompatibility is only limited to the Xbox Series X. And clearly, I'm using the PS5 now and it is working fine. Sending a 4K 120Hz signal to the receiver and then from the receiver to the TV. And what I'm going to do now is to summon the information screen. So you can see from the Denon readout here that the PS5 is actually outputting 12 bits rather than the 8 bit that was signaled by the TV. So from that point of view, it is still using 32 gigabits per second. So I'm just going to get out from that cutscene just in case I infringe any copyright and I have to appeal and it takes quite long for me to write an appeal on YouTube. So what I'm trying to say is that the HDMI 2.1 bandwidth output from the Sony PS5 or PlayStation 5 console seemed to be capped at this moment in time when I made this video in November 2020 on launch day 19th of November to 32 gigabits per second. And I'm not sure whether this is just a software limitation or a hardware limitation of the chipset. And the thing is, if you remember the uproar over LG sort of downgrading their HDMI 2.1 chipset from 2019's 48 gigabits per second to 2020's 40 gigabits per second, then I don't know how people will react to this news that, you know, the Sony PS5 is actually only outputting 32 gigabits per second, which means that you can only get a maximum of 422 chroma at 4K 120 hertz. Let me know what you think. And if you have any information about the chipset, I mean, there is a teardown from a fantastic Japanese site about the chipset and it is using a Panasonic Semiconductor Solutions chipset and now currently Panasonic Semiconductor Solutions has been taken over by Nouveauton technology. There is a possibility that the chipset on the Sony PS5 is capable of higher than 32 gigabits per second but as it stands currently the console is only outputting using 32 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth regardless of what you do and regardless of what games you play, regardless of whether you are in 60 hertz or 120 hertz. If you would like to watch some of our other videos on HDMI 2.1 and next gen consoles, I've created a playlist here and I'll see you in the next video.